Hello mga hackdog. Another example um, for a probability mass function. So let f of x equal to k times x for x equals 1, 2, 3, and 4. Find k so that f of x is a probability mass function. Now, first things first. We identify that this is our support, right? This is our support. Now, remember that f of x is a probability. It's the probability that the outcome is x, okay? And so, therefore, to find for the value of k, this function should satisfy the second condition of a probability distribution. The second condition is that the sum, okay, that the sum of f of x, x in the support, should be equal to 1. It should satisfy, this is the second condition. Let us disregard first the first condition as for the moment. So we know that <clears throat> whatever k is, for, for this function to be a probability mass function, it has to satisfy the second condition. Okay. Now, how do we show that this is true and at the same time solve for x? Well, we write the sum. Okay. The f of x, but this is equal to... What is f of x? f of x is k times x, right? And what is this? x element of s. So we should uh, run the sum from 1 to 4. From 1 to 4, right? Because x takes values 1, 2, 3, and 4. So x is from 1 up to 4. Okay? <clears throat> because this is, again, this is our support. This is s. Right? This is our support. So x runs from 1 to 4. Okay. And this should be 1. This should be equal to 1, as we said a while ago. Now, let's, let's um, expand this expression. This is equal to, we start from 1. So our x should take the value of 1. So that is k times 1. The second x should take the value of 2. So that's k times 2. Next is k times 3, and last is k times 4, and that is equal to 1. This is k plus 2k plus 3k plus 4k equals 1. We add all these things in the left side, that is 10k equals to 1, and so therefore k is equal to 1 over 10. We now solve for k. We now have a value for k, and that means that f of x should be k, which is 1 over 10, times x. If x is in the support, 1, 2, 3, 4. And 0, if x is not in 1, 2, 3, 4. Or you can just write, you can just write otherwise there. Okay, just otherwise. So, this is our function. Now, let us see if, indeed, we, we already know that this function satisfies the second condition. That's what we solved for earlier. Okay, so, we have to show that this function satisfies the first condition. And the first condition is that all probability should be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so let's start with f of of 1. f of 1 is 1 over 10 times 1. 1 over 10, that is greater than 0. Next is f of 2. It's 1 over 10 times 2. It's 1 over 5, still greater than 0. Um, f of 3. f of 3 is 1 over 10 times 3. That is 3 over 10, still greater than 0. And lastly, we have f of 4 equals 1 over 10 times 4 equals 2 over 5 still greater than 0. These numbers are all greater than 0. If x is not in the support, the probability is 0. And so therefore, this function, this 
function right here satisfies the two conditions um, of a probability mass function. And so, therefore, our answer uh, a while ago that k equals 1 over 10 is correct. Okay, so indeed, so indeed, k equals 1 over 10 because satisfies both probability uh, conditions for a probability mass function. See you in the next video.